cosine squared of 3x is a composite function, so to take its derivative, we need to use the chain rule, which I've written here for your reference. The derivative of f of g is f prime of g times g prime. In this case, our outside function is x squared. It's the squaring function. And our inside function is that thing that's being squared, which is cosine of 3x. Now, you may notice cosine of 3x is itself a composite function, so we're actually going to have to apply the chain rule twice here. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's begin with f prime of g. That's the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function unchanged. The derivative of x squared is just 2x. So in this case, the derivative will be 2 multiplied by the inside function, which is cosine of 3x. Now we have to multiply by g prime, the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is cosine of 3x, and to take its derivative, we actually have to use the chain rule. For cosine of 3x, the outside function is cosine, and its derivative is negative sine. We want to make sure we don't change the inside function, so it's negative sine of 3x. But then we have to multiply by the derivative of that inside function, 3x, and its derivative is 3. And that's our answer. There is some simplification we should do, though. 2 times sine of x times cosine of x is actually sine of 2x. So 2 times sine of 3x times cosine of 3x is actually sine of 6x. So you've got to know your double angle identities for that one. We used the 2, the cosine, and the sine, but that still leaves the negative 3. So let's just bring that right in front of the sine function. We'll write this as negative 3 sine of 6x, and that is a pretty nice final answer. So that's the derivative of cosine squared of 3x. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.